Hi everyone, Hannah here. Um, so in this video, what we wanted to do is show you what you will get uh, in the mix box, the junk journal box, and the scrapbook box. Uh, we did a video earlier this week showing what you will receive in the mixed media box, the basic and the premium kit. And so I wanted to take some time to show you what you'll receive in these other boxes uh, as well as going through uh, the paper collection that we're introducing for this month. So we are really excited um, to have our very own uh, collection um, that we have designed and it's called La Via Belle, which is French for Life is Beautiful. And we wanted to capture um, you know, basically like the old world charm uh, or charm of Europe. And so let's take a look at these pages and kind of see what we got going on here. So this is the first page. Now uh, we've got some different shades of blue. Um, these are really my favorite colors of blue. I love the light. And then it has some of the dark blue mixed in there. It's got some old script in the background. Uh, we've got an old picture here with some flowers and some uh, leaves. Got some lace coming down the side. Then we've got this really neat metal frame and some leaves and a little flower in the corner there. And then when we flip it over, uh, we've got a uh, a pretty plain background. I like to have some plain pages, um, you know, in the scrapbook collections uh, because that way you have, um, you can have just a plain background and then you can cut an image from another sheet of paper and just put it right on here and, uh, you know, for your project. And that's kind of how I like to do, uh, you know, a project. So this page is, it's got some grays, um, some greens in it. And then in the corner we've got, you know, some writing and then a picture of a uh, lavender uh, plant. And then in the next page, uh, we've got this one. It has an Eiffel Tower, of course. You know, you think of France you think of the Eiffel Tower, so we got that. Um, just kind of got, um, you know, this is like an old receipt. Uh, this is an old ledger. We got some French writing here, a little floral design. And uh, we got kind of a like a light green a checkered uh, background. I thought that would be kind of neat. And so then on the other side, uh, we've got a, a really pretty pink rose. And then in the background, it's, it's kind of like um, an image of an old postcard. You can see the stamp there, uh, like the postmark where they postmark it, and then where a stamp would be. And then you've got, you know, uh, you can see a little bit of some writing in the bag, and then Paris. And then let's see what the next page is here. Uh, so this was definitely a fun page to create. As you see, it's got some really neat old looking documents on here. Um, this is one of my favorite pages. I love the colors and um, just kind of all the old script and, and books. Um, so it's like a dark blue, um, it's got some brown, different tans. This is kind of like an old book, um, like an old document here. Um, and it's got uh, in the corner kind of an old, I guess maybe some kind of an old ticket or old document. Um, and then in the corner here you've got like a little gold leaf flourish. And then on the other side, we've got this. We're kind of taking some of the tan colors and browns from the other side, uh, but wanted to lighten it up a little bit. And we do have um, 
kind of like an old advertisement or newspaper in the background. And then you've got some uh, flowers and then a little butterfly on top. So I do love uh, floral Im uh, images. I love butterflies. Um, so I definitely wanted to put some of that in here. And then this page, this is another one of my favorites. I just love the colors and the overall design of this one. Um, so you've got kind of a... Um, uh, kind of like a swirl in the background with some blues and greens, some grays. Then you've got like a music sheet in here and little note, um, like a little piece tore from a notebook. You've got some really pretty um, uh, like script here and then a little flourish coming out with some pretty flowers. And then on the back side, this is a really pretty page as well. Um, this one has got uh, like a light pinks, um, a, like a light, uh, some lavender, um, mauve colors, and with some creams and a little bit of beige colors in there as well. Um, it's, it's really like a polka dot uh, print but then you've got some script over it as well. So it's really, this would be a really fun page. And then the next one that we have, this one was a lot of fun. Um, our background is a light purple, and then we've got some script. We've got some uh, splotches of like gray um, ink splotches or paint splotches. Uh, we've got a picture of grapes, you know, because you think of, um, you know, France, you think of like, you know, grapes, wine, cheese. Um, so that was pretty neat to put in there. And then on this side, we've got a little lavender. We've got some more of these beautiful pink roses and just some old documents in here. Uh, butterflies, beautiful purple flowers. And um, I really do like this page. This was a really fun page uh, for us to create. This was fun. And then on the back, we're just kind of bringing some of that purple over. Uh, we're toning it down and adding uh, like little tan splotches. It's, it's really a map is what it is, kind of a map um, of Europe. And it just kind of shows you... Um, you know the shape of it and then we've got some script um, so this would make a really nice background page and then like if you wanted to cut uh, something out of one of the other pages and put on here this would be really nice and then this is a really neat page too um, kind of some old documents and I like the colors of it you've got your creams your blues so we've kind of got a light blue marbled effect in the background. And then we've got some different, um, you know, writing and documents. Um, old, uh, like an old document here with the dark brown. Um, and then uh, this postcard, a little stamp. So this is a really nice page. I really like this. And then the back of it here. Uh, it's mostly blue, got some different shades of blue. Um, it's like, um, it's really like a graph paper. Uh, you can see the little lines, and then it's got little splotches of blue and kind of dark blue going around the edges of the paper. So this would be really fun, like for your different mixed media projects, I think. Um, so those are the pages, which I think are going to be a ton of fun to work with. I can't wait to get started on the projects for this month. And then these are the journaling cards, which as you can see, we did, uh, you know, we took the image from the paper, La Via Belle, and then on the back of them, they all have, um, you know, like this color on the back. So here's another image, and see the back. They are a little bit different 
um, but it's all kind of the same colors with the greens and blues and browns. And then here's a really neat image that you could use for one of your projects. And see, we took that from one of the papers. I really just loved that image and then took that one as well. That's really fun with the Eiffel Tower. I mean, you have to have the Eiffel Tower, right? And I really like that one. It's like an old photograph of the Eiffel Tower. And then this one is like the notes, uh, let's see, date of photograph, place where photograph, the story of it. So that would be really neat, like for your journaling. Then the grapes. And then this one's just kind of a page out of an old book. And then that's some of that music paper. An old document. I really liked that. That's really neat. And then you got the top of the Eiffel Tower there. You got some more of those beautiful purple flowers. And then this really neat old, uh, I, th I think it's an old church. Maybe a sketch of a Catholic church. So that's really neat. I love um, I love buildings and stuff. It's pretty cool. So that is what uh, you'll get. And then also some of the ephemera pieces, which I had showed in the mixed media um, overview uh, video of what, of what you'll get. And here's some of the images. Um, since that one page had like the green checkered with... Um, like old uh, food receipts and stuff. I thought it would be neat to kind of put some of that in here. So we've got an old knife and spoon, little teapot set. Uh, we've got some of that really pretty uh, pen script. Uh, we've got a stamp, um, an old coin. We've got like an old document here. And we've got that there the Eiffel Tower, some of the words in the, uh, just little French words there, got a, a neat looking old um, a metal uh, coin there, got a little tag with the grapes on it. And then with the mix box, you're going to get the paint uh, in the blackberry and the soft satin. You'll also get uh, the rich copper paste. Um, I'm really excited about using that. I can't wait to use that. And then you'll get a jar of gesso and a jar of crackle paste. Um, last month we did the uh, texture paste, uh, and this month we're gonna do the crackle paste because I love using the crackle paste. Um, and you'll get a thing of ink. Um, it will vary with each kit. Um, I just randomly pick uh, a color, and you'll get a paintbrush. You'll get one of these uh, palette knives. Um, I just randomly select each one for the kit, so you'll get one of those. And then you'll also get a yard of each of these colors uh, to go with your kit. Um, you will get uh, these flowers here. So you'll get uh, this flower. Um, this is, uh, I think, about a two in an inch and a half or two inch flower in um, like a soft blush color, really pretty. And then this one in a purple color. You get a couple of yellow flowers, and then this really pretty blue, and this uh, it's kind of a cream. Uh, cream with a little bit of blue in it. So you'll get those flowers to use for your project. And then also you'll get a stamp. Um, and I just randomly pick stamps to go in these kits. You might get some kind of a floral stamp or um, an old postage stamp or um, you know postcard. You'll get uh, a stamp that'll kind of go with some of the paper. And then you'll get some of these uh, gemstone adhesives. Uh, you'll get the blue and the yellow, uh, which I think will go really well uh, with the paper, just kind of pulling out some of those colors. 
as well as adding a little bling to your project. I like to add a little shiny stuff to my projects. Um, you'll get a random selection of stencils. Um, it may be the doily um, that was in the picture, um, or you may receive one of these. Uh, this one has, uh, let's see if I can put it on top of something so you can kind of see. Um, so see, it's kind of like little hearts. And then this one has uh, some different flowers on it. This one's like a little floral frame. Uh, this one has just different, kind of like three different ones that you could, um, you know, use in your in your project. This one has some different size polka dots. Um, so you'll just receive a a random stencil in with your kit that you can use for your project. And that will be great to use with the crackle paste. And then when you add your paint with it, you know, it really shows up in the crack. So it's really cool to use. Um, so that's what you'll get with the mix box. And then, of course, I always include it with um, a 12 by 12 piece of heavyweight chipboard as well. And so now we're going to move on to uh, the junk journal box. So with the junk journal box, I might just leave that underneath there so you can still see the paper. So you'll be getting the paper, you'll get the journaling cards, uh, you'll get some of the ephemera pieces. I usually put five in each kit. You'll also get some paper instructions um, that I include in every one of the kits. Let me let you see that here so this goes into detail showing you how to make a hardcover a journal with the 12 by 12 heavyweight chipboard that you're going to receive in your box um, and it also has the links to the videos that I've uploaded on the YouTube channel in case maybe you're better at watching a video I'm better at watching and learning um, so I like to do videos you know just to kind of help you in case that's easier for you too and then this one uh, step-by-step instructions with pictures on how to make a soft bound cover I'm using the manila folder where you just cut it down to the size that you want and then at the end of the document I have some of the different videos, uh, the links to the videos on the, our YouTube channel in case you need to watch that to kind of help you. And then also, uh, you'll get a strip of the Tyvek. Um, that's to, when you're putting it in the, the crease of your journal, you know, over time opening and closing the book, um, the crease can become weak and, you know, rip or crack. Um, this is some very sturdy um, material that you know you get at the post office and so I cut them down and I've used them in all my books and I've never had problems with them uh, ripping in the seams um, so you'll get that um, this is something really neat um, that I made with uh, using a Tim Holtz embossing folder and in one of my earlier videos, I showed y'all a haul um, where I went to Tuesday morning and bought a bunch of really cool stuff. And so um, I took this, ran it through, and then took a little bit of some ink stain and sprayed on here. So I thought it was really neat. And then also, um, a few months ago, you may remember that we used a napkin um, in our uh, journal. I think it was in January that we did that. Um, and I wanted to uh, go, you know, go back to that. Uh, decoupage is a really fun thing to do. And surprisingly, it's very easy. Um, this is a napkin, um, you know, that can be quite big. So you can be able to use this several times um, in your, your layout. And you just apply it with the Mod Podge. Um, that you'll get, you'll get a little bottle of Mod Podge, um, you know, to glue all your pages uh, or, you know, your cover together. 
and you also get a yard of waxed linen to sew your pages and cover together. Uh, you'll get a couple of these book pages. Um, I've got some different uh, books some uh, different painting books. See, this book shows you how to paint. Um, this book shows different uh, shape. I think it's a quilting book, and it shows you different, um, you know, stitches and folds. So that's pretty neat. And then you'll get um, a six, eight and a half by eleven tea stained pages. You'll also get this really pretty um, Paris fabric, which I absolutely love. Um, I bought um, all that I could find, um, so it was enough for um, maybe like 20-something boxes. Um, so I'm trying to see if they have some more. If not, they did have another really pretty fabric um, that did have some Paris-related stuff. Um, it did also have like some old, um, you know, like ads and documents and stuff. So if they don't have this one, um, you know, then I'll get that other one to fill the boxes. But both are really pretty and would go really well with, uh, you know, with our box this month. Um, and then the flowers for the junk journal box. Um, I like flat flowers the best, especially for putting inside your journal. Um, so you'll get um, um, you'll get six of these flowers. It'll be just kind of a varied, um, you know, a couple of the dark blue, a couple of cream, white, uh, some glittered, some painted. Um, so really pretty flowers just to kind of bring out some of the blues and creams and whites in the collection. And then also this here, <clears throat> and you'll get the seam binding, of course. I love, um, y'all know that I love to wrap my journals with the seam binding as a closure on the outside. I love to do that. And then you also get, um, I handmade this little tag. And um, with the lace that you get in your box this month, um, I just kind of stamped, uh, stapled it uh, to this. And you can always just undo the staple, you know, and take it off and use it or, or leave it like this and put it in your book, however you want it to do it. Uh, but I thought that would be really neat. Uh, you know, presentation-wise, it's really um, you know, I really like it. It's really pretty. And so we've got some different um, lace. Um, we've got some of this white. We've got uh, this one here. Uh, this is a vintage lace. Really pretty. So we've got the cream and the light blue. Um, and when, when these um, run out, or when this one runs out, because... Um, you know, I have so much of this. And then I also bought um, some of this really pretty beige uh, seam binding or like uh, lace binding, really pretty. And see, that'll go really nice with the colors in the collection. Um, so I've got several of these and, you know, I'll just staple that onto the front there. And um, now when I do run out you know, of these laces. Um, you know, when I run out of the white, I'll use the beige. And when I run out of this, you know, I have other color laces, maybe an ivory or a cream color or a light blue. Um, you know, I, I pick out other colors that, you know, would pull from the colors in the collection. So, because um, <clears throat> I have... I have so much of each one, and so, you know, it, um, you know, to go with, um, you know, with so many boxes, so usually by, um, usually by like the second week of the new boxes being released, I'm usually um, having to kind of come up with some other color or some other laces kind of similar to these. Um, but they will all be really pretty with the papers. 
And so that is the junk journal box. And now on the scrapbook box, um, you'll also get this. I'm putting this um, in with the scrapbook box as well and the seam binding. Um, you'll get the ink, uh, washi tape, which you'll get this in the junk journal box too. You'll get a stamp. Um, the scrapbook box will receive the gemstone adhesives. And you'll get some of these flowers, like what's in the mix and the mixed media box. I love these flowers in the different sizes, like to put on the cover of your album. And then, um, and then you'll get score tape, heavyweight chipboard. Uh, you'll also get some uh, cardstock pages. I have white. Um, cardstock pages uh, eight and a half by eleven, and I put those in there so that you will have those for your pockets. If you make your, um, if you do the hidden hinge and make it with your pocket pages, um, you know those will work perfect for that. And um, so I've got that in there. I've also made a couple of cards that will go in each box. Um, now these can be actual cards that you can make and cut out some of the card stock and glue on here. Um, or you could uh, put these in, you know, tuck it in your pocket page and kind of have, um, you know, tuck this part in and have this part over your page. Um, and that would be pretty cool as well. Um, you could also ink this up to kind of bring out some of that design more or spray it. Um, there's so many things that you could do um, with this, um, you know. And uh, you will also get, <clears throat> um, with the scrapbook box, you also get a, a pack of glitter and a pack of sequins. Um, the glitter, um, you know, I usually do, you know, a color from the you know the collection like a gold I have gold glitter um, also with the sequins you know uh, we'll do some kind of the blue or gold just some different colors that go with that so you could even um, you know uh, put some kind of plastic behind here like a clear plastic and put your um, you know your sequins in there make like a shaker card um, there's so many things that you could do with it, and it would be a whole lot of fun to do this. Um, so these are, um, you know, the overview videos for the boxes. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below or message me directly. Um, if you go to our website, danagirlsdesigns.com, you can use the code GRAND20, G-R-A-N-D-2-0, and get 20% off of your box or 20% off of your subscription if you want to do a three-month prepay or a six-month prepay or even a 12-month prepay. Um, we usually will offer that for the first week or so on the prepay subscriptions. Um, and I usually just leave the 20% coupon, um, you know, on the first box. I just leave that one up there all the time, just, um, you know, to give you an incentive to try it. And it helps save you a little bit of money on that first box in case you're not really sure of what kind of box you want to get. Uh, that really does help. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm really excited about this new collection. I hope you are too. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you so much. Bye.